we uh earlier today we were cracking on uh that idiot blue devil and I can't express it enough as I really don't have a problem with that dude but he just got a loose mouth that don't get him hurt one of these days. I'll tell you right now, he's not going to call me what he calls me on through the internet in my face. That's a promise. But anyways, I really don't have any hate for the dude. He's just uh, he's a target right now because he just runs his mouth just a little too much. If you learn to shut up, it'll be all right. His manias are out of whack. Whoever taught him was Give him credit, so I didn't give it to him right. Anyways, though, that's here and all there. But anyways, during that, that conversation, I got a I got a comment from one of the subscribers. I had never seen a subscriber before, so I didn't know to take him as a troll. I was actually honest, asking honest questions, but he was asking some questions that had to do with my neighborhood specifically. Now, one of the questions was like, how come I don't have my homeboy done? How come I don't? Doing an interview with one of my homeboys. First of all, you don't see me do a lot of interviews at all. Second of all, there's multiple reasons why I don't have my homeboy. Let me explain them. One, and by the way, that is a good question. If it wasn't me, I'd probably want to know the answer to. One is my homeboys, and not just my homeboys, just any homie from a neighborhood, a lot of them feel a certain way about being on the camera. And um, they feel the certain way about it, and I would have put them in a predicament where their peers might tell them something. Now I could bring a homeboy my age on, and we can talk about it. But the thing about that is when you get two older homeboys that have been through some shit together, you tend to get a little loose when you're together. Just talking. Sometimes when nobody else around. And sometimes you forget the camera's on. And you might, uh, a good example, that dude that, that got busted for Tupac's murder. He jumped on the hair thinking, hey, I can talk about this, and nothing's going to happen. I can hint at this, and nothing's going to happen, and look where he's at. He's busted. I never would want to put one of my homeboys in that situation, let alone myself. Now, I'm not saying we've ever done anything, anything illegal, especially murder, but I would never want to put myself in that position. Another thing is, I got to take into consideration on what the message is. Am I just boosting my own ego by by putting one of my homeboys in the, on the interview about me and, and things that we did? Am I am I glorifying it? How is the audience gonna look at? How are these youngsters gonna look at? Are they gonna look at like, hey, this fucking old bastard did it? I can do it and get away with it. If he's that, he ain't that bright. A lot smarter. I can do it and get away with it. Or he ain't got that much time. I can do it. That's the problem with glorifying these things. You're saying you did something you didn't do, or you did do it. it. Is you get these youngsters that believe that they can do it. They're gonna have the same same outcome. And we're not going to go into all this heavy shit where this guy said to do all this crazy shit and hardly do any time for it. We're just using me as an example. I did eight years. I lost eight years of my life. You know, I know a lot of people don't see that as a long time. You do eight years in telling for a long time. It's a long time. And it does fuck with you. It fucks with you for the rest of your life, too. Sometimes you got to live with what you did. 
sometimes you gotta live with, even if you didn't get caught for it, you gotta live with what you did. And I can honestly tell you, sometimes you don't sleep. No matter what you do, no matter, shit doesn't go away. Now, so I wouldn't want to glorify it. You would hire to find hard press for anybody to find somebody from my neighborhood who will shit about me or try to smut me up. Probably ain't going to find anybody. There are a lot of dudes that don't like me from my neighborhood, but you ain't never going to find nobody to smut me up. That's, I'm pretty sure, that I'm almost 100% of that. Patted myself on the back because whatever I did on the streets, it was left better and sad. Just like prison. Whatever happened in prison is best left unsaid. It's none of nobody's business. It's not going to make anything better for anybody. It's not going to change anything. It's not going to make me a better person or a worse person. If anything, it would put other people in jeopardy. See, that's where, that's where a lot of these guys make a mistake. They talk about things they shouldn't talk about. And they put a lot of other people in jeopardy. All for the views. All for the subscribers. I'm not that type of person. You know, people will talk about, oh, what are you making? You can look. There was some guy who figured it out. He looked at my uh, amount of my subscribers. He looked at the amount of my views, the amount of likes on my videos, and he told me, you ain't making nothing. I gotta tell you, I have been demonetized for a while to let people know. <laughs> it ain't about the money. So you ask me again, why don't I have any of my homeboys? Because I don't want to glorify things. I don't want to glorify the gangbang life. My whole object is to make things different. And even though I'm playing games with, excuse me, Blue Devil right now, I don't want to lose sight of what this channel is really about. This channel is really about trying to, people like Blue Devil understand. This ain't a game. This ain't something to play with. I guess he's just going to have to learn the hard way. Not by me. It's going to be by somebody else. Um, he's, he's, the, the youngsters think, and, and from my understanding, he's not a youngster. He's hanging out with a bunch of youngsters. And, um, it leads to that, it leads a bad example for, for other people to leave, leave that. It's not what Blue Devil is doing is leaving a bad example for others, for youngsters. Um, and I find it kind of funny considering the dude is, uh, like I said, he's supposed to be a little older. And he talks about, uh, he's always talking about my generation in the 80s. That's my generation. I was locked up all the 90s. And we're talking about my generation was in the 80s. My gangbanging days in the 80s. So, you know, he talks about my generation a lot. I think he, uh, I think he likes to steal, though. He just doesn't like me. <laughs> so you asked me again, like, why? And I told you why. That was a great question. I actually did. I don't know if you were trolling. I, I really don't, but that was a good question. There, there's very few questions that people have ever asked me that catch me off guard. That was one of them. I had a question. Somebody asked me once, what did I want to be as an older, when I got when I was a kid, what I wanted to be when I got older. Nobody had ever asked me that, even when I was a kid. Nobody ever asked me, hey, what do you want to be when you get older? All I ever wanted to be was that gangster, that that, that homie, that, that one. 
and uh, it just I was just really misguided as a child. Made a lot of mistakes, and now I gotta live with them. You know, it's it's part of life, and like I said, whatever I got coming, I got coming. You know, I'll take it like a man. Being sick, all the shit that I'm going through, I look at it as payback. And that's cool. I can handle it. As long as it takes it out of me and not my family and my loved ones. Have a blessed one. Have a good night, you guys.